it's no rocket science. In life to succeed, you got to get into prayers. That thing that you want to do, you need the power of God to help you do it. So you got to start with prayers. You've been trying, you've been failing, you've been going back and trying again. You've been getting discouraged because it's not working. You try to start and it's just not working. It's been years, it's been weeks, it's been months. You're trying to figure out what's wrong, but you can't get started. It's no rocket science. You got to start with prayer. You got to set your foundation right. And you have to pray continuously. The Bible says pray continuously without ceasing. Jesus says men ought always to pray and not faint, not be weary. Prayer is the key. Faith unlocks the door. We know all the we know all the slogans. When we pray, first of all, we come into alignment with God. When we pray, it's a time where we recognize that God is who He says He is. He says, when you come to me, you must believe that I am and that I am a rewarder of those who diligently seek me. So when we pray, we're acknowledging that fact. We're acknowledging that God is great. We're acknowledging that God is awesome. We're acknowledging that God is faithful. That we're acknowledging that He is our Lord and He is our God. Like He is our Father. He is our Abba Father. That we can come to Him with everything. In fact, we need to come to Him every day. It's as if you're in your house and you wake up in the morning and you just leave your house, but your parents are there and you don't have the time to go and say hi or speak to them. Every morning when we wake up, God is there and we just walk out. We don't have time to speak to him. We don't have time. We don't take time with him. We don't fellowship with him. Even just to say hi is not enough. When you're in your parents' house, you can't just go hi by out the door. That might be like a teenager, right? In a rebellious stage. But a child who is submitted to their father, who loves their parents, when they wake up in the morning, they'll come, they'll greet them, they'll hug them, they'll show some love to them, they'll serve them, they'll make breakfast, they'll sit at the table, eat, talk together. The child will speak and tell them, their parents, what they feel and you know, how the day is going. The parents might give some advice or the parents might say, can you do this for me today? You know, this is the relationship that God wants us to have with prayer and with him, that we should sit with him. We should take time with him. You know, just sit at the master's feet. Jesus told Martha, he said, Mary has chosen the best part Because Martha was out running, doing this, doing that, doing the other, but not spending any time with Jesus, not getting any wisdom, not getting any equipping, not getting any understanding. You know, she, she wasn't getting peace. She wasn't getting the joy in the doing. The doing doesn't give you joy. It's the being, it's the sitting at Jesus' feet that gives us the peace as everything is going on. Things will still get done we'll have a peace about it. There will be an ease about it because God will be giving us the wisdom, show us the way that we should walk in it. He is, the Bible says, whether you turn to the right or the left, there will be a voice behind you that will say, this is the way, walk in it. So when we're in the presence of God, when we're aligned with God, when we bring him into our day by acknowledging him and getting his instructions and everything, as we walk through life, that voice from those conversations will come. The Holy Spirit will come and say, this is the way, walk in it. Choose this, don't go over there. Take the blue one, not the green one. You know, um, buy this company now, this is important, invest here. Whatever it is, you know, start this program, go to school, give you whatever encouragement you need. And then most importantly is the engine that drives this, our success. So prayer is so important. It's not rocket science. What you are trying to do right now that is not working, go into prayers and do it continuously. Every day, pray. Every day, stand in before the presence of God. Sit at the feet of God and just talk to Him. Pray. Read your Bible. Read the Psalms. Just glory in the presence of God. God is faithful. Nothing the enemy can do will stop you because he is with you. 
He says, Lo, I am with you always. So let's use all that God has given us. Let's manifest his fullness because we're in his presence. God bless you. God is faithful.